What's happening, y'all? This is Osiris, and uh, today we're gonna take a quick look at the Gigabyte XM300, so-called gaming mouse. Uh, let's see if it's worth the money, and does it satisfy the gaming needs? So uh, first, let's take a look at the key features and specs and all that good stuff. Basically, it's a 6400 DPI optical sensor, uh, which is pretty standard. Uh, I'll keep in mind uh, as I do this that I'm coming from the Logitech G400, which is almost legendary in its price to uh, how accurate the sensor was for for first-person shooter games or competitive FPS games, however you want to look at it. Uh, so my my I'm not an expert gaming mouse uh, person, but that's where I'm coming from, and that's where my uh, I guess my slant uh, of how I see things are coming from. So, anyways, it's got 16.8 million colors for the back little LED thing. That means pretty much every color you can think of, you can dial in. It's got Omron switches for the clickers. If you haven't used Omron before, which I wasn't, I don't believe is on a G400, you'll instantly notice that when you when you're playing or when you're using the mouse. Uh, according to Gigabyte, it has an extreme ergonomic design. On the fly DPI adjustable. That's the two buttons that are on top behind the mouse wheel. Teflon mouse feet which is a pretty good feature to have, an extreme macro engine. Uh, we'll take a look at the macro so-called engine in a minute. So basically it has a, a 6400 DPI optical sensor that allows you to uh, adjust it in 50 DPI increments. You can do that within the software. Once you got it dialed in, you can um, set it using the buttons that are on top of the mouse behind the mouse wheel as I pointed out earlier, uh, which is cool for like if you're uh, playing an FPS game like Battlefield and you're shooting and then you want to go into sniper mode uh, and name down the site with the sniper gun, you want to find you want to have a, a lower DPI. You can just click those buttons. I don't personally, I don't find that type of thing that 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 practice useful because uh, messing with the DPI settings is quite a bit harder than just playing the game my opinion i don't know i guess somebody thinks it's useful because they keep putting them on the mice but anyways uh it's got customizable lights as you can see uh and it's fairly it works fairly well it's, i don't find it special or spectacular not only that it's in a position where you'll never see it as long as you're using it but i guess uh if you have company over you want to show off your your setup you have that option of having the the led lights on the back of the mouse so extreme ergonomic design according to gigabyte you can palm, finger, or claw grip this mouse. Coming from the G400, uh, I find this mouse to be pretty similar in size. A little different in shape, but pretty similar in size. The shape of the, the G400 is a little bit more full in my opinion. So palming it, it feels a lot more comfortable than this one. I tend to want to uh, fingertip grip this mouse a little bit more because there's less um, there's less top to it. I, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. Uh, there's less of a, a hump to it even though there appears to be more of one. I don't know, it's hard to, it's, whenever you buy a mouse, it's really best that you go down to a local uh, big box store like Best Buy or something and try them out for yourself because that, that's something that's really personal. And I don't think you can actually give a uh, rating on how good a mouse feels uh, unless you like it or, or you don't like it. Uh, so the, the lights on the side, uh, there's four lights they are like white LED lights those indicate which setting that you're in using the DPI settings on top of the mouse the button the more you push plus the the higher the lights get and the more you push minus the lower the lights get and a lot, all that set in the extreme macro engine or which is gigabytes software and whatnot on to uh, the Teflon mouse feet so for my Logitech I ended up buying some Teflon feet which made all the difference back when I, I applied these feet to this mouse and I suggest that if you don't have Teflon feet they're usually only about three four five bucks put them on your mice it's awesome but these ones apparently came with them they're not as smooth as the ones that I had on my G400 uh, the ones I had on my G400 were uh, I mean I guess you can call them aftermarket or third party but these are I would say like 85 90 percent of the way there it, it slides pretty smooth on my still series mouse pad I think it's called the QTK the same one that almost everybody has uh, and it, it works really well as far as mouse feet go and onto the wire you get a standard rubber wire no braided stuff it's got a gold plated USB end, and I don't really think that at all matters not even on the slightest bit according to gigabyte it does 12,500 frames per second it has a maximum acceleration rate of 50 grams I don't know if that matters to anybody at all it doesn't sure it doesn't matter to me I'm no pro gamer or nothing so oh something else that's interesting is that this mouse does come with 
an extra set of uh, mouse feet, which is uh, I think I thought was a really nice addition. So let's take a look at the software. So when I first got the mouse, the software was pretty like beta looking. There wasn't a lot of options in it. It was it just had the fun, the basic fundamental stuff and all that that good stuff. And then after a while, after about three months, I would say, I started getting some double click problems where you click single click on something and it would register a double click. So I decided to update the software and the firmware in the mouse, the software on the desktop and the firmware that's actually in the mouse. And that came with some uh, nice upgrades actually. No more double click problem, first of all. And if we look at the software, they have some uh, pretty nice upgrades to the software, which means they are working on the software, which is, which is excellent. As you can see, they have static mode for the LED. Basically, you just set set your mouse to whatever color you want it, and it'll just stay that way. You can adjust the brightness and the color, obviously. Then the breathing mode, where it slowly pulsates on and off. Uh, you can set the brightness and the color again, but now you have the option of changing the speed of that. In the very first iteration of the software, you couldn't do that for whatever reason, but now you can, which is uh, pretty nice. And then you have cycling, where it just basically cycles through all of the colors. And but before, you, could, you couldn't change the speed of this, but now you can. Uh, which is also nice and of course you can change the brightness or you can turn the LEDs completely off I just leave mine in some type of breathing mode and or cycling mode actually and don't care if you decide not to install the software It'll just stay in, in the, the default cycling mode and that'll be that I suppose that you could actually Set this mouse and then uninstall the software if you feel like it's taking up too much system Which is really not taking up a ton of but you know some people are super anal about how much system resources their software is taking up now under the buttons so on the buttons here you can actually set the the the, the buttons to whatever you want them to be I, I mean it's pretty intuitive you click click the mouse button that you want and then change it to whatever you need I don't see why anybody would actually change these buttons like the the you know the, the left click and the right click or the middle click it's pretty much standard left click is left click right click is right click and middle click is you know for like the web browser it uh, allows you to scroll uh, using the mouse it does have some macro functionality and multi key functionality you can even set the multimedia uh, keys on the mouse by that it's not like simply play pause and stuff for your multimedia software but you can actually set the the, multi, the the back button to be say it opens the calculator or it does volume up or volume down or exits a program or mute it does mute or it opens a web browser all that's are already preset up in the software it also has the DPI loop it opens up you can open up your email all that preset which I thought was a nice touch I like the, I like preset stuff you don't have to go in and find the actual software and etc blah 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 this is all set up for you and if that's not enough for uh, customization for you there is a macro section also and the macro section is pretty much what you think it is you can actually set a combination of keys on your keyboard to be a button on your mouse one of the buttons on your mouse uh, including the DPI buttons I believe uh, but usually somebody would probably set the forward and back button to to a macro but uh, anyways back on point you can set a combination of keyboard macros and tie it to your mouse set a, a combination of mouse clicks say left 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 click left click plus right click and set that as a macro and then it has location also I'm not entirely sure what location is but maybe that's some file on your on your computer don't use it that often so I don't really know what that means it can also be set in loop or fire mode uh, it also can have uh, auto detect delay time so if you click one key then wait three seconds then click another key you, ha you can set all that up in here it's fairly intuitive you can pretty much tell what it does simply by looking at the software then over to the pointer which is where you can set your DPI setting as you can see here there's four settings as there that correlates with the four lights that are on the side of the mouse and these are controlled by the two DPI buttons that are on the top the plus and minus that's behind the scroll wheel been using it at default the entire time anyways you set your uh, DPI here and you can have it whatever you want it to be up to 6400 DPI of course if you go to others it tells you what your firmware version is I think the latest one out is f22 so if you don't have f22 I recommend that you get it, it fixes a couple of problems that are noticeable in my opinion like the the stupid clicking problem the double clicking problem and if you click the wrench up at the top this is where you can actually update the software also the latest version of the software is one, version 1.14 this is where you can set the settings for starting it with windows and starting it minimize which is what i do and the close button minimize the tray and automatically check for updates also if you have a jig a jig a gigabyte extreme gaming gpu this software will monitor the temperature the gpu usage the cpu usage the memory usage and the page page file usage now 
before I updated the software, it was doing that automatically for some weird reason. But once the software updated, it stopped doing that, which I kind of prefer that it actually did that. Uh, no matter which GPU you have. I, I have an EVGA, but I guess this is intended to work only with the Gigabyte series of cards. So that's uh, so that was a look at the software. My final thoughts about the mouse is after using the Logitech G400 for many years, and you know, that Logitech is, I'm a, uh, disclaimer out the way, I'm a, I'm a Logitech fanboy. But uh, thanks to Techie Route, I, uh, he sent me this mouse because it came with a video card he had and he didn't need the mouse. So I've been using this mouse for a few months now. And my thoughts on it are, is it's it's a good mouse. Uh, it's, a, it's a good entry level mouse. It's not gonna blow anybody away with extreme features and uh, it feels really light, like really plasticky, uh, even compared to the, the almost equally as inexpensive uh, G400. So it's not gonna blow you away with its quality and its workmanship and all the features it has. But for somebody who doesn't wanna spend a ton of money and wants a good entry level mouse that has uh, you know, the features of a quote unquote gaming mouse, this has pretty much all of it. It's, it has the, has the RGB LED in the back it does the DPI settings. It has um, a nice uh, scroll wheel that you can actually feel uh, relatively distinctive clicks in. Not as distinctive as uh, the, the G400. It's a little bit more mushier than that. Um, the, you know, it's standard back and forward buttons. I think that the grips on the side, they're like a, some type of rubbery grip uh, that the G400 did not have. It's a, I think that's a nice touch. And it doesn't seem to smudge as much as my G400. Probably because it's a different, I mean, definitely because it's a different type of plastic. Uh, it seems to register really well on my Still Series mouse pad. Uh, the clicks are nice and, you know, pronounced. Here, let me, let me see if I can get the mouse up to the microphone and you can hear the Omron switches. Probably can't hear that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so this is, uh, in, my, in my estimation, you know, my final thought, I, I think this is a great entry level mouse. Definitely worth picking up if you don't want to spend a ton of money, but you want some of those gaming gaming options, I guess you can call it. Uh, it's only it seems to be thirty nine ninety nine on Amazon. Uh, let's see what is it on Newegg. I don't see it on Newegg. Oh, thirty nine ninety nine on Newegg also. So not a terrible price. I don't. I think there might be better mice out there for this price. There's probably definitely better, especially if you're looking for, for very specific features. I mean, like I said before, I'm a Logitech fanboy. I would say that the Logitech mice are better mice. Uh, but this is Gigabyte, and this is not something that uh, they're really known for as mice. Uh, you know, they're probably more well known for their motherboards and video cards. I'm more than likely that this mouse is probably outsourced and rebranded from another mouse somewhere else. Uh, seems to get some pretty mixed reviews on Amazon and Newegg. And those those reviews, the, well, the negative ones seem to lean towards the fact of QA. It would seem that way. Seems to be a QA problem. And my, I mean, my, my typical advice for buying any type of uh, computer product on Amazon or Newegg is to go through the reviews, the user reviews. Kind of use your common sense to figure out which ones are just hyping it up because they just bought it yesterday and it's the most awesome newest thing they ever had. And also weed out the people who are just salty about everything in their life and they hate everything. Uh, after reading around, it seems that um, that th this mouse has a few QA problems. Now, if I was to go buy a mouse brand new, I don't know that I would personally buy this mouse baron brand new for 40 bucks. I would definitely lean towards the Logitech mouse for obvious reasons that I've already said quite a few times, or maybe something like the Steel Series mice. I mean, uh, Logitech has a G402 Hi Hyperion Fury FPS gaming mouse for like four 36 bucks. I, I mean, it doesn't have, I don't believe it has the, the, the RGB LED on the back. I think it's just blue, but maybe uh, there might be a new one that has the RGBs, uh, which personally I don't think it's a big deal you know some some people think it is a big deal personally i don't think it's a big deal uh and it has all the same features and i think it even has more buttons that's probably definitely a better buy uh it, i mean it's a 4000 dpi mouse but i don't think that really honestly matters if you if you're, if you're looking for something like that probably looking for a laser mouse anyways i don't i don't know but anyways this is my quick look at it final verdict is it's decent if you can catch it on sale or you really need the rgb lighting or something it, it's it gets the job done it, it does what a mouse does uh in the entry level spectrum of things so anyways this is a uh, check you know for, before we get out of here i got to remind you to hit the like button or the dislike button and if you uh, want to see more content hit the subscribe button it's been osiris and i'm out of here